hello my wonderful people welcome back to spice channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you now the senate is set to question the fct minister over the abuja's kidnapping epidemic the senate has finally resolved to summon the minister of the federal capital territory FCT Nyeson Wike over the alarming rate of kidnapping and other crimes in Abuja. According to the punch, the senator representing the FCT, Iriti Kingbi, disclosed this on Sunday while featuring on a rise on channels televisions. I beg your pardon. Kingbi said she has plans to sit with the FCT minister and uh, other security agencies to demand their plans for ensuring the safety of the residents of the nation's capital. She said the Senate will have to invite Nyeson Wike as the chief security officer of the FCT to explain what he is doing to address the security challenges in Abuja. At this point, Wike will be summoned whether he responds or not. This is a different matter entirely. And as the chief security officer of the FCT, Nyeson Wike should have a plan. He should be able to tell the committee of his plans for protecting the people of the FCT. Between the uh, FCT minister, the police commissioner, and the head of the DSS, each of them must have a plan to tackle this insecurity that is ravaging the FCT. You know, uh, Senator Kingbe, who was elected under the Labour Party, had said she earlier raised the alarm way back over the insecurity in Abuja. But she was told that it was exaggerated. She really raised the alarm about this. But nobody took her seriously. And now she's glad that, yes, the security agencies are putting eyes into this matter. And they need to tackle this problem. They need to tackle the root cause of this problem. Because this insecurity has been there right from the onset. Just that they never paid attention to it. Until recently, Abuja has witnessed a surge in case of abduction and other crimes in recent times. With several victims killed or held for ransom by their captators. Which is really, really, you know, unfortunate that we find ourselves in this position. Yet, we have a minister who has sworn to see to the affairs of the FCT, yet is yet to come up with a tangible solution or his plans in curbing the insecurity that is ravaging uh, Abuja. So my country people, following the deteriorating security situation in the FCT, the Senate has reviewed its plans to summon Nyeson Wike and also for him to review the plans he has for the people of the FCT. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Now, what about other states? Now, only Abuja, the insecurity they affect. What about Plateau? What about Kaduna? What about Benuel? Abi, are you guys only interested in Abuja because most of you based there? And for now, I have a suggestion. No? You people should already be planning on budget, more money in short term. So, you guys should strengthen the FCT's security. How come they didn't call the former FCT ministers back then? Now they are calling the president and the security chiefs, the defense ministers. But now, 18 don't reach them. They are now rushing to come to summon the, the minister. We have to investigate this. He did not secure River State. Is it the FCT that he will secure? Wiki has only plans for River State. He's not interested in the FCT. This is a politically staged insecurity. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. At this point, uh, the FCT minister, Yeson Wike, should be concerned about uh, the FCT, Abuja. You know, we know that, yes, Yeson Wike, he, attention is, is in the politics of River State. His uh, focus is to, you know, maintain his structures there. But there is fire on the mountain in Abuja. And he has to focus on Abuja first before any other thing. So at this point, Wike has to drop all side uh, distractions 
those little little things distracting him him fighting fubara looking for political structures to hold on to in river state wanting to be the head of affairs in river state no i think abuja needs that attention instead of a river state so nyeson wike would just have to do his duty this is the point whereby nyeson wike needs to show force he needs to show action we've always known nyeson wike to be an action man but now uh, it seems that uh, nyeson wike is yet to you know tell nigerians the people of abuja their plans and in, in terms of the banditry and the kidnappers ravaging uh, abuja uh, a lot of people have made suggestions on a, uh, you know, state police that uh, the, the the federal government should give room for state police. This would really aid in curbing insecurity. Had it been Abuja had its own police, you know, at that time they would go and you know see to these things before any other thing. But guys, you know, we are in Nigeria. More options, more suggestions. Words are being said, but no actions taken. That is the situation we find ourselves in this country. You see today a minister will make a statement, oh, we will do this, we will set up a state police, we are going to set up a, a different security agencies so that they can handle and tackle this issue. But at the end of the day, there is nothing to show for it. That's why this issue of a kidnapping and insecurity keeps on repeating itself uh, it was so so sad and unfortunate that these people had to pay ransom the sum of 100 million naira, to these kidnappers and afterwards they were released which the security agencies then rescued them back you know the family of uh, nabia nabia the, the 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 girl that was killed but then her siblings were rescued the father had no other option than to pay this money now I ask, how come this money was being paid without any trace? The security agencies are unable to trace where this money was sent to, to capture these kidnappers. It is so unfortunate. Uh, no wonder people are, you know, actually leaving the country, you know, uh, looking for a greener pasture. Well, Nyeson Wike should be interested in running the FCT instead of struggling to maintain his political structures in river states. His attention should not be divided because FCT is his, it should be his primary focus. At this point, he needs to meet the demands of the people of the FCT. If not, there would be a revolt. There would be protest, you know, because people would see that, oh, Nelson Wike is not out for their interests and they would want to kick against his government. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.